U.S. Embassy identified Santan District as potential target, but event went ahead after South African authorities insisted it was safe. Thousands of people gathered for the Pride March in South Africa's largest city Johannesburg on Saturday despite a warning from the U.S. Embassy of a possible terror attack. The event took place under heavy security in the upmarket district of Santan, identified by the U.S. Embassy as a potential target. South African authorities had assured organizers it was safe to proceed with the march. Returning after a two-year break because of the coronavirus pandemic, the U.S. warning angered Pretoria. President Cyril Ramaphosa called it unfortunate and said it was causing panic in the country. We are always fighting for visibility and we are always in danger. So me hearing of the terrorist attack, warning, it didn't even bother me, said Enold Malaysia, an LGBTQ activist, told AFP. Either way, if I die my family already rejected me anyway, so no one is gonna get to miss me. State Department spokesperson Ned Price on Friday praised security efforts in South Africa and Nigeria, where the United States issued a separate security alert that led to the evacuation of families of U.S. government personnel. We deeply appreciate the efforts that they make to protect their interests and in turn our interests, Price told reporters. South Africa has some of the most progressive laws in the world when it comes to LGBTQ rights. It was the first country in Africa to legalize gay marriage. But in practice, stigma still persists. Also attending the 33rd Pride March on Saturday was medical Dr. Lethaxalo Shange, who said, queer people are killed every single day. We still have a very long way to go, the law is there, but the practice and the mindset in our community hasn't changed. We are still working on that and hoping for a better future.